Alrighty. So uh, give me one second. Let me drop some links, and uh, we'll get uh, we'll get this ball rolling. There we go. I think that's all the stuff and things we need. So the reason we're doing Citadel today is because let me let me double check this before I actually put this information out. Uh, I guess if you're checking the fifth time, it's not double checking at this point. Dun dun dun. Okay, that's weird. They said we'd have a uh, free thing of this on the 3rd through the 8th. So I guess it's not ready yet or something. What the heck? Dun dun dun. Ah, uh, good morning. Good morning. So, uh, it's gonna be weird today, cause usually I just play Medieval Dynasty, cause it's a nice chill game and I can talk and function and do all the things you do with, with streaming stuff. But, uh, yeah, we were supposed to have a free weekend of this on Steam, so I'm just trying to figure out why Steam says it ha it costs money still. So, hi Dwarf, good morning. I'm, I'm definitely desperate for my coffee this morning, so... I could drink just a little bit of that. <laughs> so, uh, this is a game I played about a year to a year and a half ago. No problem, Dwarf, I understand. It's like, especially if it's not a game you've ever played or were even interested in. But, uh, yeah, um, played this about a year and a half ago. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to pop back in and see what they were doing, because news last week was on the 3rd. Uh, they were going to have this for a free weekend. So maybe it's just not free yet. Um, so let's hope I wasn't misled on this one. Let's check. So yeah, I've owned this since since before beta. So Alright, so the map names are all the same. Ping. So this is a normal server. Oh, these are PvPs. Uh, you know me, guys. I need a PVE click down, but that's okay. Dun dun dun. Very fast, normal. RP free fly. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I hopped on here yesterday to see if I could get my movement and controls back and stuff like that. Cause you know when you play different games, you uh, don't remember your controls and stuff, but. Uh, there was no people on this one whatsoever. Um, but it was free build too, because I wanted to see if, if stuff was still like it was. But I think we'll uh, try Brink Break. It's got a couple people on it. It's very fast, which means it's times five harvesting and stuff. And these are all um, all official servers. I'll make sure it's PVE before we join there. Crusader Kings 2 is free to play right now. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, actually, you're the third person to request Bannerlord again, so we might end up playing some of that. Um, I'm only going to play this for just a little while. I'm not going to play it the whole two hours. Uh, I'm just going to see if memory lane is even... You know, like you have rose-colored goggles for games you really enjoyed a couple years ago, and you pop back and you're like, oh my goodness, uh, either it was awesome, or it was not awesome. So, <laughs> I'm about to uh, get those ripped right off, or uh, or be like, oh yeah, these are clear-tinted. Yeah, I was thinking about doing, like, I think Wednesdays, even though we're steady creatures of habit, I think Wednesdays I'm going to play different games, because um, we've had lots, 
lots of different things um, requested for us to play, and uh, and even though I'm like, oh, should we play Medieval Dynasty today? Because I like Middle Loot. I'm gonna try different things. We're gonna try this. I mean, the worst thing that could happen is we could find an amazing game and really like it, or find a game like this one. I don't know. I was really active in the forums with this one. Um, like, I was really, really gun ho about this, and I played like a crazy person. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And that's another thing. If, if the game's free anyway, and I play it, and you guys like it, then you'll have access to a free game. So, is Crusader Kings free on Epic, or is it free on, um, is it free on Steam? Sorry for the stuttering, I just... I've only had a sip of coffee today, guys. Give me a second. <laughs> Ah, good stuff. Man, this load screen. Come on, guys. Dun, 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 dun. I hope I didn't miss an update. Like, sorry guys, we're in the middle of patching because uh, I didn't do my due diligence. Um, yeah, yeah, I guess we'll have a random, random thing on, on, uh, YouTube for it. I'll make a different category. This is this Coffee and Gaming Wednesday, I think. It's our new title for, uh, Wednesdays. Because we have no idea. Crazy, have you played Bannerlord 2, by the way? Or it's, um, Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord? Hello, we are a girl. Okay, so it's got different stuff we can randomize. And the graphics are not crazy astounding. I don't think I'm going to change too much stuff. Okay, we can't rotate her. Hi, Bay. Yeah, Wednesdays I think we're going to try a bunch of different games. Um, mix it up just a little bit. Not for the sake of mixing it up, but if I can find some free games people were interested in in the first place, we might play, play them on Wednesdays to... Uh, to give people a glimpse of some other games. Well, our fingernails look normal now. Just go ahead and call that good. And let's go to each wrist. Spawn here. Bum, bum, bum. Good morning, Spider It. Yeah, if I can find free games uh, on Wednesdays, I will try to try to play them. This has been it was advertised two weeks ago that it was going to be free from the third until Monday. Um, so I guess it just hasn't rolled over yet, though, because I can still see a price tag on it on um, on Steam. All right, so we're gonna hit. I don't like. I'm not really keen on first persons. If I can help it, so I'm gonna. Tab out. Ah, there we go. A ragamuffin. Pick up stuff. Level two. All right. So, I can already tell you the feel is a lot smoother than uh, it was a year and a half ago. And I'm assuming, I don't mean, I don't know what makes me think, but th I think this guy might have a quest for us. Oh. Welcome to the land of Ignis, my friend. Later we, lately we've noticed various individuals emerging from this and other caves, seemingly forged in the fire of God's blood. The God King said that to summon heroes when Ingus is needed. 
So myself and some friends are here to help guide those individuals through their first steps. Uh, Ingus is full of resources that can be crafted into useful items. I will give you some yellow pine, a plant native to these southern forests, which you can craft cloth. Open your crafting menu and create five cloth. I accept this challenge. Uh, Alright, so K is something and C is something. K. Oh, apparently I have to level up first. Uh. Well, I want more mana. Thank you. K. And what was the other number? Or letter? Ah! <laughs> Sorry guys, you're gonna have to see me stumble through this because things have changed. Alright, so level 3. So each of these rocks here are tutorials. Each player has a, has an inventory where items can equip your character and consume food and potions. Each player has a knowledge tab. You can learn new skills and craft recipes. Alright, apparently C is what we're supposed to be pushing. Alright, there's C. Oh, add another one. Okay. Weapon equipped for spell stuff. Spell book. Crafting. Ah, there we go. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Craft five cloth. Um... Dun, 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 dun. Here's our quest journal. Um, so one of the things I remember about this game is your weapons made a little bit of a difference on what type of spells you could use, uh, but nothing too crazy. And you didn't only have to have one; you could you could learn all of these if I remember correctly. But for something I remember for harvesting, I think you needed a wand. So we're gonna. Hold down our mouse button and learn that wand. Yay, we learned a wand. Okay. Oh, here's other people online. Nice. So here's who, who here's whoever's on the server. And you can invite them to your group and you can I guess already also talk to them. Good to know. It's kinda neat. And here's where you create your um guild. Do your tamed creature slots. Nice. Okay, let's go. Let's go give this guy his stuff. I don't know how I feel about the overall orangey red color. I'm uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I remember it being a, like a little bit more vibrant. Excellently done. You have. I have a feeling you'll be crafting many items while in Ignis. You're. Each more valuable and complex than the last. Everyone has knowledge menu where they can learn to craft various arms, armors, items to restore health and mana, the ability to construct grand castles, or even devices in which to fly. You gave me enough cloth to craft a woodland cloth hat, so I will give you mine. I also give you some bonus cloth and a ruined crystal should you wish to learn how to craft hats yourself, which I highly recommend. Be sure to open your inventory and put it on. All clothing provides a certain amount of armor which is of the utmost importance in keeping yourself safe. Now we're... Oh yeah, because we're on a fast server. That's why we're leveling so fast. I was like, we're leveling really fast. We got our, our little cap on now. Food for thought. It's wise to speak with me again. You have much to learn. The woods outside are safe. Shielded area can be very dangerous. Woods outside the safe, shielded area can be very dangerous if no one is one is not prepared. You may find yourself in need of one of health or mana, struggling to survive. The crafting menu is again helpful for circumstances, as one is able to create various edible recipes that may help maintain health and mana. I will provide you with ingredients. Open your crafting menu in the consumable section, and create a salad. Bro, there's no way I'm eating a salad. Alright, uh, so we're 140 mana. I think we'll just go till we get 200 mana. Um, okay, crafting menu. Crafting. Okay, yeah, I was like, I was like, it's probably consumables. So we got this, consumables, weapons. Different little things. Do we know and don't know? So salad. Craft. 
Um, I think they, I'm, I'm pretty sure they did have a day and night cycle. Um, but I don't think there's an increase of monsters if it's nighttime, if, if I remember. They didn't have anything like that last time, but it's been a year to a year and a half since I played. Here's your salad, bro. Oh, error message. Please unequip any quest items. Okay, fine. So I drag the salad from my eat this bar to the to the inventory. Where's your salad? Okay. Uh, so it wants us to collect one ruin, four wood, two stone, and make a stone head axe. Except, which would be great, but I don't think we know that recipe. Crafting weapons. Yeah, so we don't know that one, but that's okay. I get K. Yeah, see, we're learned. It's all coming back to me. So you click on this and you hold down your mouse button to learn it. I remember I used the gloves the most because you can dual wield. You can have a uh, wand and a glove or an axe and a uh, staff was the only one you couldn't because it was two-handed. But you could mix and match any of these three. Yeah, it's nighttime. So this little glowy thing you guys kind of see around it is actually a shield. It goes around um, a certain amount of area around here. And that means that um, the wolves and other bad things can't get in here. And it, if you're playing on a PvP server, it means nobody can PV PvP in this area. This is one of the cooler things I thought about this game when I first played. Is uh, This is a mana pool, so if you stand in it, your mana uh, down on the bottom will go from like 1 to six, 160 really really fast and then there's also a health pool and so that'll make your health go up really fast if you're not already using health potions and stuff uh, but you'll be able to build those type of things in your own base um, do we... oh you have to craft one, hold on crafting, crafting weapon craft And there's a reason I'm not crafting a wand yet. Apparently, um, that is like in the next step of one of the quests here. Like I said, I, I hopped on yesterday to make a new character just to see if I could make sure my ASDW movement stuffs were good and goofed off with this a little bit. The one with the moving the salad out of your invent from your equipped to inventory may have taken me a little bit longer than I like to admit. Level 5. I did not level up this fast though. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you that much. Alright, here here we go. I made a thing. Speedy spellcrafting. The lesson will be of one of magic. Of course, there's always welcome to hack creatures like a barbarian, but it's often far more convenient to leverage the spell at one's disposal. Similar to the craft menu, everyone has access to spellcrafting menu or spell book. Ensure you have a weapon equipped before entering that menu and observe the purple hue to the right. The purple hue represents the arcane magic which is always available for cre creation. Uh, you will see four icons representing magic schools. Try it by selecting representing... S All right, they just made craziness in words so I'm, I'm gonna, I wanna unjumble that. So we gotta craft haste and test it out. Alright, uh, H is a new thing. Accept. H. 180. Alright, let's try H again. Okay, H is players online. We don't, we don't care about that. Uh, spell book. Little fire symbol. Alright, so this right here is what he's talking about. So, spell essence arcane. And he said we have to craft haste. Arcane step. Haste. And I want that on my le right mouse button. Craft. Wow, he didn't listen to me at all. I said over here. <laughs> I still think. Alright, so we gotta test out haste. Oh, it is on my left mouse button. That's weird. Okay. And we're going... 
Do, 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 do. All right, haste has been tested out. Oh yeah, in this game you can make jewelry, you can make, I mean, everything you wear you can make. Uh, and they do have some epic uh, items as well and stuff like that. So they have an actual decently okay loot system if I remember correctly. Alright, so we did it. Dun dun dun. Alright, so now we get to craft, craft the Solomon's Wand. Extraction. There's an additional nature's essence case you lost the last one I provided. These are obtained by green acid pools and look like bright green orbs. Check your map to see where these acid pools exist. You will get to craft an important spell using nature's essence. Equip any weapon and open the spell book to apply the nature's essence. Hi, Smood. All right. Well, I think we're at 200 mana now with all the levels we just gained like a crazy person. All right. So here's a nature's essence right here, because he just gave it to us. So we're going to drag it over here on this, um, so we're in our spell book. And we're going to turn this green, which in fact will change the things that we have. Uh, I made a mistake. No! Mistakes were made! Uh, I have to craft the wand first, because each of the, um, each of the spells is bound to whatever, uh, weapon you had equipped at the time, so we're going to craft this. That was my fault. Because, <laughs> like, if you read the the previous one, it, it told you it, you had to have your weapon equipped in order to bind a spell to it. I hope that essence didn't wear off, otherwise we're going to Go be barbarians and use our axe to get another one. Sp oh no, yep. Oh, we got an extra one. Alright, so... Equip. Alright, you're just going to be stubborn now. Alright, so it's over here and it's equipped. And we're going to roll our mouse button. Let's see if it... Yeah, okay. We rolled our mouse button and it equip this one. There we go. Spell nature. Boop. And we want extraction. Uh, main wand hand craft. Alright, so extraction was one of the cooler spells I found in this game. And that's like, instead of coming up here and chopping this tree down with an axe, you just hold down your mouse button and your, uh, your wand extract stuff. Whatever's in the general vicinity, they'll, they'll extract stuff. Alright, so that's a lot of wood there. Some stone. Yeah, extract was definitely my favorite spell. I used the crap out of it because I, I love building in this game. I made some crazy stuff. Hi, buddy. So you're gonna give me a wand and this is... Okay, cool. Thank you. I did it. Oh, you brat. Okay, apparently I got ahead of myself because I saw the extraction spell. And so we were supposed to craft the wand and then craft the extraction spell. So now it's gonna be a, a brat. But it's okay. Give me a second. Uh, spell. This. Extract. Again. Craft spell. Alright, I'll play your little tutorial game. Complete. Alright, so we need to use extraction spell and get 25 wood. Except. We already have the wood, so all I have to do is use it. <laughs> I know, right? What? No, I'm getting ahead of the... What? We're going to finish the tutorial, f tutorial before they even ask what we need. It's fine. So we'll get 5 iron ingots and 50 wood from this. Man, level 7, jeez. Alright, I haven't been past this point, so let's see what we got. 
There are different types of structures available to learn and build. These can be found in the knowledge menu and accessed by toggling icons on the left side. So those little flashing guys down there. No, that's the right side. Well, golly. Um, one of the simplest and most useful structures for newcomers is the fire pit, which can be used to craft foods that are well suited for restoring health. Most structure pieces need to be placed on a floor of some kind, but the fire pit can be built almost anywhere. Learn the fire pit, gather a few simple resources, and build one outside the safety zone. Let's try accept this time. There we go. Build a fire pit. A K for knowledge. Alright, so we're going to do some carry capacity. Because obviously we need carry capacity. So here's your uh, weapons you can pick from. Apparently we can already start jewelry if we want to. Amulets and bracelets. Um, we can learn another food. Blue dye. We can already learn dyes. I didn't even know they had dyes in the game. Okay, don't get distracted. <laughs> Guys, we can put colors on everything. Uh, here's your building mats. Nice. And fire pit. Here we go. Dun dun dun. Forge. Okay. Alright, we'll go out here. I don't think... I, I do not remember making a fire pit, so you guys just have to bear with me. What do you mean I burnt down the whole forest? I'm sorry. Might be, I mean, we could be collecting, I think, yellow pine or something like that to make cloth with as well, but... Ghost orchids. You know, like, you play a game and you don't remember something, but you remember something's important, so you always grab it? That's what I feel like right now. Surprised we haven't been mauled by a wolf or a bear yet. So that's the that's the shield. So in, if you're inside that shield, you can't get um, eaten, and you can't get PvP'd. We of course are on a PvE server because we don't need that stress. But PvP in this game, when I played it back in beta, was thriving. Because uh, who doesn't want to fly around on broomsticks and um, yeah, totally pear shape. All right, so there's a boar over there. We're building a fire pit though, okay. I'll I'll stay focused. I'm gonna click on this, I don't know what this does. Oh, there's the fire pit, okay. Um, so one of the neater things about this game, if you hit B for build, it will usually have, uh, this is new to me, the magic icon, but it usually has like your wooden structures and your stone structures and stuff here, and you can use your um, mouse wheel to go to it. Then you click on it and it has a sub menu. So apparently we can do fire pit there. Okay, we built the fire pit and it's gone. I don't think it's supposed to be gone that fast, but I think it was just for this tutorial. Um, let's switch weapons. Boom! Use some haste. Because nobody wants to walk. Um, like I said, if you hit tab, you can do first person if you'd prefer that instead, but I always feel weird in first person. And we're going to step in here. Boop, 200. Hey, buddy. Salted boar. Encrypt save. Dun, 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 dun. Minecraft is yeah, uh, dwarf. I agree. I didn't know how to change into third person on Minecraft ever, so I always played it in first person. Um, and I played so much of it that it's okay for me to play it in first person now. How crazy is that? All right, what do you need from me, game? 
most meat based recipes require salt, which appears as speckled white rocks and is found on the southern shores of the ocean. I happen to have some salt as well as some raw meat you can give to practice cooking. Use the fire pit and ingredients I give you to create some salted boar. Dear God, I don't remember salt in this game. Uh. So I think this is the ocean? No, I don't know. Maybe yes. Mutant creature. Natural acid pools. Okay, so acid pools have those little green glowy globs that you can use to extract to get nature stuff so you can switch your spell uh, ability. Enemy camps. It does have, I remember, I remember hunting the NPCs in the enemy camps. Um, actually I had a lot of fun with that. Nature pools. Caves. Uh, caves have like different little creatures in them. And I know this one here has a couple of treasure chests as well. Which actually has some really nice stuff in there. <laughs> you had a cat switch you to first person, or uh, third person, then spend an hour trying to get it back. <laughs> Cats always crack me up, because they kind of do what they want to. Alright, so we're going to get out here, make a fire pit, and try to craft this boar. Hopefully it won't be too silly. B, magic, magic, magic. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna move it over here so it's not like blocking stuff. E to interact. Or, you know, not. Oh, here we go. You have to be out of your crafting menu, I guess. Let's craft one salted boar. Dun 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 dun. Butter, salted boar, salted elk, salted hare, salted horse. That sounds delicious. Salted poultry, fried eggs, restored grand boar meat, heavenly horn meat. There you go. Oh, oh, we have to pick up the bag. Uh, loot all. All right, and we're going. Oh, thank you. I took medicine last night to sleep, so I definitely, definitely need to hydrate today. Otherwise, my bones will be creaking. So I've only had this chair for like seven or eight years. It's a tiny um, desk chair. It's like a regular desk chair. And uh, I was thinking about getting one that actually helps you when you're in the chair so long. Nice lumbar support. But I have not yet because I can't stomach the prices on some of those things. I have the basic skills to survive on my own. I have a final activity that may greatly enhance your travel abilities. Ignis is a magical place. This town, for instance, is one of three ruined fortresses of great houses that once stood and was enshrouded by magic to shield and protect its important legacy. The priests of Masha, though few of any remain, are responsible for any magical features you will find across the land. They created magical tra transport portals to help enhance travel and mobility. And each of the three major runes have one. The portal needs to be activated first. Then they allow instant travel between other active portals. Check your map for the location. Interact with one in this town. <laughs> Dude, that would be ugh, that'd be so nice. It's fine though. It's fun. 
Alright, so... Ah, so this purple guy is our markers for instant travel. Um, so I marked it on the map and it gave me this little green flag. Let's go up this tower. Or maybe it's that tower over there, I don't know. I saw something purple up here, okay, so we're just we're gonna go check it out. Side quest. I welcome you to Eastreach, formerly Dark Spire. Sinal of Bla House Blackwood, you may have heard of us. You're few of a descendant of a lineage. Dun 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 dun. Okay, so as I can see, this is basically saying let's let's defeat six boars. You know what? I'll take you up on that. Better make coffee or something else. Well, uh, I would say it needs to like heat coffee to be an acceptable thing of uh, of repute, but my Yeti keeps it warm. I wish I discovered that like years ago. Oh God, what's that? Alright, so we marked a purple s traveling stone, but it's marked on that thing down there. I like how this place is designed to make me not do anything stupid, like fling myself over a wall. Alright guys, we're gonna step in this. Aha, unlocked fast travel. Oh yeah! But that's only when we have unlocked. So we have to find more of these around and we can fast travel to different spots. Alright. To remember what I said, if you walk up to these stones, they'll give you tutorial information. Structures are constructed using the build mode. Be sure to unlock some building blueprints from the knowledge tab. Interactive map. Dangerous cave, ancient runes, and more. Explore these at your own risk. Alright, so usually I'm not one to follow the exact instructions on, on what a game says, but I think we'll go ahead and try to go kill some boars. Thank you, Pongo, and welcome. Much, much appreciated. We're just kind of be bopping around today. Um, they said this is supposed to be a free weekend on Steam for this, but it hasn't rolled over to the free part yet. Dun, 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 dun. All right, levels one through twelve. Okay, so we're in the right spot. Okay, this is mostly an acid pool. Those green things up there. We need those. Don't laugh at my Mario. Brothers jumping. There we go. Whew. What did he did? Okay. Extract. It's fully adjustable zero grab chair. Three <laughs> K. Who? Right, I think we have enough essences. Oh, apparently we have to level up again. So many levers. Alright, so we already have a blue wand and a blue axe. Not gonna cry about that. We have food. So we got some nature essence if we want to change what our um stuff is. We need an attack spell. This one takes five seconds to cast. This one takes point two five. Hmm. 
Hmm. I have to go with the faster one just because I'm more comfortable with that. Okay. We'll switch over the wand and I'm going to switch the nature. Healing. Roots of Wrath. Bark skin for 60 seconds. All right, so we're going to put that there. All right, so we'll just roll over to our axe when we need to be offense and this for defense and extraction. Uh, kill six boars. It's like World of Warcraft all over again. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh, look, somebody's already built over there. That looks pretty spiffy. I might hop over there and look at that in a minute. One of the things I absolutely love about this game is people building stuff. Like, they built some stuff right there, too. Nice. Very, very nice. Oh, God, this one. Oh, I'm not ready. No, pig, no. Oh, nice. So you hold down E and you get all the loot instead of having to click everything. Better nice. Uh, we're going to switch over here and we're going to throw on some bark skin. And then we'll go over and blast some stuff. By the way, I'm sure everybody else has much better spells that they've got figured out already. But th I like this. So make sure it's even okay. It, it is going in there. Okay, there we go. Stone, metal, crystal runes. A chair from the future. Yeah, I think we have to pick yellow pine. Ghost orchids. Man, that bark skin stays a long time. Come over here and look at this guy's stuff. Eh. Oh, he did right on the border, didn't he? So this little blue bubble right here is how far his mana regen works on this castle. Which is actually kind of cool. So it's like your power source. Uh, we are not allowed in. That's okay. Well, look, he's got a uh, dragon mount. Do, do, do. A mana generator, if I remember. He's got his crops in there. Very nice guy. Jeez, he went all out, didn't he? Yeah, so if you guys were wondering if you could build in this game, the answer is yes. You absolutely can. And there's different types of materials. A lot of different types of materials. Whoop. I don't think we'll get eaten. I don't think there's anything bad in the water that I remember. But that guy did really good. Everything's modular too, so um, everything built is square by square. Uh, yes, you can, dwarf. I could dual wield. Oh, apparently I need to breathe water over there. Uh, you can, you can dual wield. Like I said, you just roll, uh, roll your mouse button. I think you can have. I could have two more if I wanted. Sorry, I got distracted with this guy's building. He even like made a boat too. That's hilarious. Well done, though. Very well done. Alright, let's get back over here and kill some pigs. Ooh. 
but yeah, yeah, this is this game. We got about 15 more minutes, and then uh, we're gonna pop over and. Oh, you absolutely could. There's, there's no reason not to. I remember the gauntlets were used for something really awesome. They were my favorite. Um, I just can't remember. I can't remember what it was because it was a year to a year and a half ago. Uh, the boat is not usable. Um, it's just somebody building something cool. Up again. Okay. Um, bark skin, and uh, maybe maybe some pew pews. Well, that's not gonna do much good. He's a. Dude, I don't know why he's not attacking, but I'll take it. Oh, come back. Oh, Rod. <laughs> you started this, remember? Uh, about haste. Yeah, like I said, uh, that's why I wanted to play on a, a server that at least had a couple people on it, is so we could see some of the buildings and stuff. Because I think they made new new stuff for this expansion, which at the moment I don't even know if it's actually out yet. <laughs> but, uh, because they said they had a new map and stuff for us. Oh, what was that? Oh, Barkskin fell off. Okay. Dude, I absolutely love that. It looks awesome. You're like, and now for the housing edition of Citadel Forged in Fire. Look at that craziness. These people have really good skills. I think we might be in a level that we're not supposed to be in. But we need some boars. We'll stay away from that little wolfie over there, though. I can't remember if. Yep, they're aggressive. I'm sorry. Um, bark skin, boop. And then this one. Uh, so we got three more boars to get. Yeah, Crib Citadel Edition. <laughs> nice. Uh, 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 let's extract some uh, rune crystals. I don't remember why I need these. All I know is I need these. I know that they're fuel for a generator for sure. Like your mana generator. There's some more boars. And uh, uh, pew. Ow. Yeah, if you guys are looking for professional gameplay, this is not the channel. <laughs> Alright, yellow pine, because we'll need more cloth. We should probably make some armor or something, guys. Pick up some yellow pine. Ghost orchids, I think, we used in mana pots and something else. I just, I can't remember. Alright, um... K for knowledge. Conjuring, Colgen, Drone, Forge. We're not going to build this edition. Like, usually I, I'm all about the building. Uh, but we're going to, I don't think we're going to build right now. Uh, I for keep forgetting we have to switch tabs to get stuff. So we're going to make rings, bracelets, necklaces, and amulets now. But yeah, we'll have to be level 14 before we can unlock leather, and then level 18 before wild. Uh, I think I was at wild last time I played. All right, so we can make a robe. Dun 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 dun. 
can we not make a robe? Okay, it's got the orange thing, so we we have learned it. Uh, we probably need to make cloth. That's why we probably can't make a robe yet. So confused. Oh, there it is. Uh, we need 15 cloth. We have five. So that'll go in the background while we run around like crazy people. Because we still have to kill some boars. Do, 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 do. Yeah. The, uh, the building I remember. Oh, no, no bear. No. Uh, uh. Um, how about... Pshirm. My GTFO spell is amazing. Now the hilarious part is when it turns out I ran myself into some more predators. <laughs> uh, which for me definitely happens. Alright, pit stop for some yellow pine. Alright, so two pigs and a deer and a third bit. No, pig, no. Bark skin. Oh, they got light, light essences. Nice too. I think all animals have light essences, but I don't remember. Pig, are, why are you harassing that poor deer? Ah, uh, there we go. We did it! Okay. This guy, I have to get him. Alright. We have completed all the quests. So let's get this back to this guy. Do 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 do. Random wolf in the wolf when I was avoiding. Yeah, I saw the white wolf after I turned around. And I'm like, that could have ended unpleasantly. Uh, extraction. What's this do? Ruined crystals. Nothing against ruined crystals. I was kind of hoping for salt though. There's some mushrooms. They're a weird orange color. Yeah, this is uh, on a very, very fast server. Very fast. <laughs> uh, very fast server. Uh, that's why everything's times five and we're leveling up like a crazy person. Alright. We're going to turn this in and I think that we're going to call it for... Citadel Forged in Fire. Yeah, check check Steam later today um, or tomorrow and see if they have it situated where it actually is free because it is supposed to be free for this weekend. Oh, we didn't take the interact with the travel border thing. Whoops. Our work is never done, guys. Da da da. What's this? Okay. Eh. Hey, I did the thing. Two frozen essences. Dude, nice. Uh, Weirdo, I'll be back up to check on you in a minute. Pew. Yeah, I, uh, it's weird because, um, I hadn't played this in so long and I remember loving it. I, I remember really liking this game. 
But yeah, as soon as I saw it was a free weekend, I kind of want to introduce you guys to it too, because like I said, I really enjoyed it. Alright, so we finished that quest, so let's get over here and turn it back in. So we have light essences and frozen essences, which means we can change up our spells if we want to. I remember there being a lot more spells for some reason though. Alright, well apparently we're not even done with the tutorial yet. Alright, now I'm going to take a three minute break real quick and switch over stuff. Um, so give me just a second. I'm still here. I have my headset on and I can talk to you guys, so so don't worry about that. But I'm going to flip you over here to this guy. And uh, go make your coffee, get a stretch in. I'm going to switch games. <laughs> now this game we're playing right now we're gonna play in a second is uh it's called foundation and it is 25% off in the steam store uh, today by the way, I'm not hired by Steam. I'm just trying to, if there's deals, I'm trying to do this, but, um, now I haven't played this game in about 18 patches, because they put out a lot of patches in the last six months. Um, but yeah, yeah. Oh God, no, let it go. Okay. I think the one I liked was the one I couldn't pronounce. For the maps. And uh, let me go ahead and pop over here. Nope, oh, I lied. We're gonna have to go back over here. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> Alright, um, da 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 da. We're gonna. S I need to change the settings on what the title is actually at. <laughs> 